What's up guys, welcome back. You read the title right. I'm doing my first fall tutorial of 2021. First of all, I don't even care that it is 100 degrees outside and I'm filming a fall tutorial. I don't care that it's not fall for another month. I just, I get so inspired around this time of year and I thought let's just start it early because every year I've got like a million ideas in my head and I never get to finish them all. We're starting mid-August. I'm excited for it. I even asked you guys on Instagram. You guys said you were ready, so here we are. I hope you enjoy, please subscribe and let's get started. I'm gonna do like a basic bitch warm orangey smoky fall look today. I saw this look on Pinterest by X Bethany Marie. Such a beautiful look. It's like a warm orangey kind of like a cut crease but like I love when people do cut creases and then they put a similar color on the lid that's to the crease so that it's not too dramatic like black and white kind of thing. So this look really inspired me and I just pulled out like all my warmy, like just rusty sienna-y. Mm, I'm excited. Okay, so I'm gonna start with the Rare Beauty Illuminating Primer. I've been loving this primer. It gives a more illuminating radiant finish to the skin. And even though I do get more oily, I just feel like this looks so good on my face. Just rubbing that in. And then lately I've been using foundation again, which I went for like a year and a half without wearing foundation. For the most part, obviously I've worn it in that time frame, but lately I've been using it again more frequently and I've been using the Pat McGrath Skin Fetish Sublime Perfection foundation in the shade LM9 or light medium nine. This is my fair shade, so it matches me like pretty perfectly. This is definitely a bougier foundation and it does give a lighter coverage, but I just feel like it looks so good on the skin. I do two pumps for my whole face. You can see it's like pretty liquidy. So I'm just gonna work it into my brush and just stipple it on my skin. See that like, really matches my skin color perfectly. Even though like, no, it's not fall yet. I just feel like you could still wear these looks any time of the year, it really doesn't matter. But I'm just a fall whore and it makes me excited. So I'm gonna title them all fall looks because it just gets my creative juices going. It's like, I don't know even what it is, but it's just like summer looks and spring looks, like makeup looks. I just don't get as excited. I just wanna do like more natural makeup throughout the year. And then when it gets to this time of year, I just get so inspired to do different things with makeup. I'm just gonna channel that and just go for it. I asked you guys those polls over on the YouTube community tab. And I also asked the same questions over on Instagram and um, just kind of like about what you guys are into right now and like content wise and stuff. And it was very, very informative. So thank you so much for like, answering those questions if you did. I really, really appreciate it. I feel like going forward, my number one goal aside from what kind of content I'm putting out is just to put out more of it because I just feel like with the last like two months really, life was just so crazy and I couldn't post as much as I wanted to. So I'm just like, you know what? Regardless of what it is, my goal is to pump out as much as I possibly can. So that's my goal. I actually leave tomorrow for Rubens and my honeymoon. So I'm really excited. I'm so excited because it's gonna be like a high of 65 degrees while we're in Alaska. And that's just gonna get me even more pumped for fall. It is gonna suck though when I come back and it's still like 100 degrees here. That's not gonna be fun because I'm gonna be all ready for fall stuff and it's not gonna feel like it at all, but that's okay. I'm gonna go in with the concealer that matches that foundation, the LM9 Skin Fetish Concealer. This is my favorite concealer. Concealer. I use it all the time. It gives a beautiful natural finish with probably I'd say a medium coverage. Ugh, this neck pimple will not go away. It is like a part of me now. I'm gonna use my Sigma F03 brush to blend in my concealer. I got a comment recently saying that you bought this. One of you bought this. And now it's like your holy grail for concealer. And that made me so happy because I feel like it's such a random brush, but it makes so much sense. It's so flexible so you can like go back and forth. You can spread it down. It is my favorite for concealer. I just went to the hair salon yesterday, got my hair done, and I haven't washed it yet, and it is fresh. Do you see that ice? It always looks so good when I first get it done. Lately, I've been kind of switching it up with my hair, sort of, not really, I barely switch it up. But what I've been doing is pretty much since January, 
we alternate doing a full head of highlights and then just doing like half the head with highlights or even just like the areas that you see and then leaving the rest of the hair blank when I go in just to like help keep it healthy and I feel like I've noticed such a difference with my hair but I just feel like my hair has grown a lot since then and even like my hairstylist and the girl that does my extensions they both were saying how much my hair has grown and I think that that's part of it and two, when I have extensions, I'm not putting as much heat on my hair itself. It's going to the extensions. So I feel like that kind of like protects my hair in a way. And it's been helping it like grow and get long and thick and all that stuff. I'm just gonna set my under eyes with a little bit of powder. Then I'm gonna go into the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. This is a full size one. I usually use the little travel size one. It took me like two years to finish this up, I feel. And it's, there's still some in there, but it's really hard to get out. I'm gonna pour a little bit here in the cap, pick it up with my brush and apply this right here where I get really oily. I also, anytime I have a breakout, I really like to powder the breakouts too, where I put the extra concealer. I just feel like it kind of helps to set that area so that that product stays a little bit longer. For bronzer, I'm gonna use the Milani Sunkissed Silky Matte Bronzer. This has been my go-to lately, especially because I haven't been self-tanning or anything. I feel like this really works with my complexion. If I have on a self-tan, I need a darker shade because this will go too cool toned, but I just think it gives a really nice natural look on my face. So I'm gonna get the sides of my forehead, the cheeks and down on my jaw. I'll also bring this down my neck, just like this. I'm gonna head over to my MAC palette and I'm gonna grab Bone Beige from MAC, this color right here. This is like one of my favorite contour colors and start just adding a little bit more depth to the cheekbones. It doesn't add like too much, but it does add that extra little bit of dimension. This is one of my favorite colors. Get the sides. So what brands are you liking lately? I feel like I'm ready to try some new things. I just placed a big order with um, Jamie Genevieve's brand, Vive. I cannot wait to try out her stuff. I, I like knew she came out with a brand, but I had never checked it out. And I went on there and I was like, ooh. This is a vibe. So I got a few different things. I might do like a brand first impressions or something or just incorporate it into a tutorial or something, but her stuff looks really, really good. For my nose contour, I love using my NYX Three Steps to Sculpt palette and I like the contour shade in here. I don't know what it is about it, but it's like, it's a little bit more of a powdery formula than a creamy formula, which you think, like that doesn't sound good, but for what I use it for, I feel like it just works. And it's the easiest to blend on my nose. And then this is a Luxie 182 brush. I don't know if they still sell it because I feel like anytime I try to link it, it's sold out everywhere. But any kind of like angled brush like this will work. I just connect it into my brow. And then I even, when I blend it, I actually try not to blend too far down because that will actually widen the nose. I'll actually flick it inwards. I do blend it down a little, but don't be afraid to do this because I feel like it can easily look too wide when you blend it down too far. I'm gonna go in, this is a Smith 124 brush. You don't have to use this one exactly, but any kind of like really dense brush. And I just go on the sides with some translucent powder to brighten up the area where I brought the contour down too far. Then I just grab this and blend that out. I don't really let that sit there. I am so excited to use these. So my friend Amanda got me on these. These are the e.l.f. putty blushes. I have this like really, really warm shade, more of a pinky shade, this dark berry shade. I think I'm gonna use this one. I might mix a little bit of this into it just to see, but I think this is the color Bali. I'm gonna go in with Bali and it looks like this. Looks like a cream that you would like put on your eye or something like that. I'm actually gonna just take my blush brush right into it. This is the Sigma F40 brush. I'm gonna very lightly, I'm gonna hold back on my brush because anytime you hold further back on your brush, it will pick up the product lighter and apply more lightly. So if you're like not sure, cause like this looks intimidating. If I put this straight on my light skin, like hardcore, it would go on super, super pigmented. So because it is more of a drastic color to my skin, I'm gonna go further back like this, pick it up lightly, and then go from there and see where we're at. I have used these before, so I know you can probably go a little bit more heavy handed, but 
Just a tip when you are trying something new for the first time. This is so beautiful. I can't wait to use this like deep berry one. That's gonna be gorgeous. Bringing it up top on the nose, chin, neck. That is such a pretty color. I'm gonna try this out. This is the Flower Beauty Shimmer and Strobe Highlighting Palette. I'm gonna take this center shade right here and I might mix it with this one just a little bit, but I think I'm just gonna go straight in with this one first and just see how that goes. Just apply this here. Ooh, that is beautiful. I'm gonna add a hint of that other color just to see what happens here. I'm gonna pick up a little bit of this pinky color very lightly and kind of feather that into the blush very, very lightly. All right, I'm going with my brush here, my blush brush, just to kind of blend that out. I think that's so pretty. I think that looks really nice and worked really well with the blush that I had on. I'm gonna take my finger with that center shade and just dot it on the nose here, the cupid's bow, and then blend that out with my brush this is definitely a very very intense highlighter before we move on to the eyes i did recently pick up the desi do me over prep set and refresh face mist i don't always set my face with a setting spray or anything like that but today i really want to because i'm so eager to try this out so this is what the packaging looks like beautiful i love it i love all of her stuff so far i do have the serum and i really really like it so i'm excited for this too so i'm gonna hold pretty far back because i did use this on my skin yesterday but i didn't have any makeup on and it does kind of like it gives a nice even all over spritz but i think if you do get too close it can like spurt out so i'm gonna keep it pretty far back Fragrance free. See, I did get one little droplet there, but I'm excited to see how this works with like a full face of makeup on. I'm gonna move on to my eyebrows. I'm gonna go into the e.l.f. Ultra Precise Brow Pencil. I believe, what shade do I have? Neutral Brown. I haven't used this in forever because I've just been using my other ones, but I'm going to fill them in with this. Start on the bottom and do the top. This is working really well with my coloring right now because I just got my hair done and it's extra icy and this is extra ashy so it's just like working. I'm digging it. I'm gonna pull back on this pencil and I'm gonna do the uh, front area very very lightly. It's like a very bold brow. Look at that compared to my other one. I did not intentionally <laughs> mean to go that intense. I feel like my eyebrows look crazy right now once i do my eyeshadow i feel like it's gonna work but i unintentionally went like super super dramatic and bold with them is what it is i think it will be fine once everything else is on i just feel a little intense right now i used to do my eyebrows even more dramatic than this back when it was like a thing side note i am loving the way that my skin's looking right now i feel like that whole cheekbone and cheek area other than like the few pimples that i have i just feel like it looks so good the way that that highlighter and blush mixed with the setting spray i feel like it just looks very very natural and it looks like i don't even have like that much makeup on and i did like a lot more than i normally do so i'm loving it i'm gonna go in and prime my eyes with the painterly paint pot from mac this is my favorite I'm gonna go in with this, start priming. Okay, I'm just gonna lightly set that with a little bit of powder so that the shades go on evenly and they don't like skip around or anything like that. Also get right underneath as well. So I showed this in one of my last tutorials, but I didn't end up using it in that, but this is the Gemini palette from Melt. They, the shadows in here, they're not like fully glued anymore. So if I lift it up, a certain way they will fall out but i think i'm gonna use these eyeshadow colors today i really wanted to use the impulsive palette from melt but it is discontinued and not available anywhere i'm gonna start with the color luna as the base for my eyeshadow i'm gonna go into luna and start mapping out the look so i'm gonna bring this here in the crease kind of connecting it into my nose contour bring this underneath I'm gonna do a very rounded eye effect with my shadow today. The last look I did, I went very winged out, more cat eye and fox eye-ish. So today I wanna go more 2017-ish type of look. 
with my makeup today. I'm still using the same color, doing the same thing, just building it up. It's a really nice neutral base. It looks really good. I'm holding probably halfway down the brush, not too far up on the metal part, which is the ferrule and not right down low on the end. This color I know is not gonna go too crazy because it's very close to my skin tone, so I can go a little heavier handed with it and not have to worry about it going on too intense. Don't forget, anytime you do the lower lash line, look straight up into your brain and that shouldn't bother you. You can wiggle the heck out of it and it should be good. So now I'm gonna go into the color Lorelei, which is this beautiful like mustardy brown kind of color. Let me get up close so you can see that color. Just beautiful. So I'm gonna go in with a little bit of a smaller brush. This is a 230 brush from Smith. I'm gonna pick up Lorelei and I'm gonna just, just pushing it on and then I'm gonna bring it into the crease. I feel like this is gonna be my lid color. I am gonna cut the lid with concealer later, but I do want this to kind of halo behind here. And then when after I do the lid situation, I'm gonna pop this on the lid as like my main color because oof, that is a beautiful. Melt eyeshadows are some of my favorites, honestly. I feel like I don't use them enough. Every time I use them, I fully enjoy the process of creating a makeup look. And I just feel like the colors are a lot more unique, even their browns. Like, <laughs> I just feel like there's something about them that makes them so unique. I'm gonna go really grungy with the look and bring it low, so I'm not being too careful with this down here. This color is really making my blue eyes pop. I feel like once I brought that color underneath, the blue in my eyes were like, came right out. <laughs> now I'm gonna go into polka dot, this shade right here. Do the slim thing, just start building it up using the same brush, it's a little bit darker. And I'm gonna pop this on the lid. Okay, I'm gonna go back into Lorelei and use that to blend out the polka dot shade. So I'm doing that on the lid and in the crease. Just haloing it around that color. I'm gonna go into an even smaller brush. This is the Wayne Goss number 20 brush. I'm gonna go into Cupcake, this shade right here. It's a deeper brown. And I'm gonna apply this right to the outer corner just to add that extra depth to the look. Extra smokiness right here, just to give that extra little pop. I'm gonna grab that polka dot shade right on the tip of this. I'm gonna look down into my mirror like this and see like where my crease is. I'm gonna hold back far on my brush and just kind of like put it right there, very, very lightly, but in those strategic spots right in here. Might actually grab a little bit of cupcake to put there too. Lightly pop that in. And then whatever's left over, I'm gonna wipe it off, grab a little bit of Lorelei, that like mustardy shade. Just go right above it to help blend it upwards. I'm gonna make this extra, extra sharp. So I'm gonna go in with my concealer, what we used earlier. Put a little bit on the back of my hand. And I'm gonna use that same brush that I used for my eyeshadow primer and just pick it up on the brush and just carve this out here. I'm gonna look straight so that the eye folds. And if I went too low, it'll transfer up and then you know you can bring that up a little bit higher. That will kind of help to open up the eye. It's a really good trick if you have hooded eyes. And I'm just tapping that in like while this is still a little bit more wet and sticky, I'm gonna go into Luna, the lightest color first on a flat brush. This is a rougher number 28 brush. And I'm gonna pick up that color and pop it right on the inner part of the lid right here. And then on the other side of the brush, I'm gonna grab Lorelei, this mustardy shade here, and pop that right in the center. Oh yeah. Drag it over and flip this over and kind of blend the Luna into the Lorelei shade. We can get some fade going here. This is not turning out how I want it to. I don't know why I have like a dark dot. I'm just gonna go over it with concealer. I feel like that's a bad idea, but I don't know why it's doing that. Cause I just, I actually really like the way that this eye looks. So. We're gonna redo this, hopefully this works. I feel like I should take that off, but I'm not going to. I'm just gonna go right over it, blend that out. I'm just gonna go into my face powder that I used under the eyes, the fluffy brush, and see what happens. Going on the crease to diffuse. 
diffusing this edge which kind of makes me nervous because that color did not want to go on top of that concealer so it's working a little bit better than before i'm going back into the darkest two shades we used just to deepen the outer corners again to give that contrast and then go back into Lorelei to diffuse it in and hopefully it doesn't pick up weird on the where we put the concealer. I just think this eye looks so much better. I hate that I did that. I'm taking it off. I'm doing it. So I just completely took off everything off of this eye because I just was not liking the whole cut lid sort of thing. I felt like the shadows that I was laying on top of it were looking crazy. Like, I don't know what was going on. So I just liked this eye so much better the way it was turning out. So I just quickly caught this eye up to this eye. I still feel like this one looks better. And now because I was in a rush, I feel like this is looking really muddy, but it's fine. It'll be fine. I think it's looking good. I do want to do a little bit more on the bottom. So I'm going to grab the Lorelei shade mixed with polka dot and just really focus on the bottom lower lash line. So I'm going to go into my face highlighter, highlight my brow bone, and then I'm going to get my inner corners, highlight those. And then I'm just going to go back in with a fluffy brush just to make sure that everything fades nicely into the highlight. I do know I want to do a nude liner in the waterline because it's me. I'm going to grab the Rimmel nude liner. This is my favorite. It's a nice peachy warm nude. I'm going to pop that up in there. So I'm going to go into my Makeup Geek mascara, my current favorite, and apply this to the top lashes. This will give me a nice base for the false ones that I put on. Okay, so I just applied these lashes. These are the ColourPop Chick lashes. I have never used these before, but I think these are so beautiful. They're very like, kind of like sparse up in here and then they fade upwards and they're a lot thicker and more dense on the outer part. And I just think that they look very, very beautiful. I'm gonna have to pick up some more of these cause this is the only pair that I had. And I feel like with this look too, it just really kind of brought it all together. So. I'm I'm gonna go into the MAC Extended Play Mascara because this has the world's tiniest little wand. So I'm gonna use this just to really define the bottom lash line. That's really going to make that whole area pop. It's gonna make the nude waterline pop and it's going to make the upper lashes pop as well because it's gonna balance them out nicely. Finally, we can finish off with some lips. I just grabbed my uh, lip liners here and some lipsticks that I picked out. I haven't worn a liquid lipstick in a long time, but I feel like some of the liquid lipsticks that I have would look good with this. Let's try this. This is the LA Girl Spice Lip Pencil. It looks a little bit darker and a little bit warmer. So I'm going to try that and then maybe we can go over it with like a nude and it'll balance it out. So I'm just going to line and overline my lips like this. And then I'm going to turn this on its side and start kind of fading it into the lip. Just like so. Okay, so I'm gonna go into the Dose of Colors Nude Mood Liquid Lipstick. I'm not gonna apply it directly on just because I cannot with liquid lipsticks anymore. They are just too much on my lips, too much product, it just feels heavy. So what I'm gonna do is put it on the back of my hand. Yeah, I think I might even add Let's Cuddle. I'm gonna put that next to it here and kind of work off my hand. So you can see I've got Nude Mood and Let's Cuddle. So I'm gonna start with Nude Mood. I'm gonna grab it on a brush and just start going over that lip liner. I'm gonna dab into Let's Cuddle and pop that in the center. This is way more pink than I was wanting. This is like a hot mess tutorial today. I think I'm just gonna go into some regular like neutral brown lip pencils to kind of like tone this down. Okay, this is Cork from MAC. Okay, I'm adding some more creamer, please, from the Desi X Katie collection with Dose of Colors. I don't think you can get this anymore, but it's such a unique shade and I wish it was permanent because, and maybe it is, but from what I remember, it's not. It's the perfect warm nude that like, I just felt like this lip was going so, so pink and that's really, really saving the day. I'm happy with the way it turned out. I wish that the lip was a little bit, like the tones of the eyes, just a little bit more orangey rather than so, 
cool tone and so pink. I shouldn't have used that spice color. I thought it was gonna go on a little bit more warm, but it's fine. I really love the eyeshadow. I love the way that everything came together. That like mustardy color that I was putting in the eyeshadow look that I wanted like on the lid, it just was not like picking up well with that color. I feel like I should have just used like my eyeshadow primer instead of a concealer. I don't know, but nevertheless, <sighs> I love this look. I love that I'm just in a full blown sweatshirt, sweatpants, warm, mustardy makeup, and like I wanna go drink a hot coffee and blast the air at 67 degrees because it's hot as balls outside. I mean, I'm ready for fall, but like I'm mainly ready for fall makeup, which gets me really excited because it's been a long time since I've been this excited about makeup. It's honestly been probably like a year. It's freaking fall, let me tell ya. But yeah, I hope you guys like this video and I hope you enjoyed following along through all of the ups and downs of this look. I feel like it turned out all right. I'm so freaking excited to use, where is it? That Flower Beauty Highlighter Palette. Again, I feel like this looked so good. Mainly this shade, I just feel like that like brought the whole cheek together. And this mist from Desi Skin is amazing. So let me know what product you are the most excited about down below in the comment section um, out of all of the products that I use today. Let me know what you wanna see next from me. It can be makeup related, non-makeup related. Let me know what fall makeup looks you're ready to see from me and I know if you're not ready for fall I apologize but actually I don't apologize I'm really ready for it here we are we're going for it but yeah I hope you guys like this video I hope you enjoy the look thank you so much for watching please subscribe and I will see you very soon bye